Twin Sisters Digital Media presents The Three Bears, written by Charles Fromm, illustrated by Aisha Wright. The Three Bears. Once upon a time, three bears lived in a house in the woods. Great Big Papa Bear had great big paws and a great big voice that sounded like thunder. Medium-sized Mama Bear had medium-sized paws and a medium-sized voice. And Teeny Tiny Baby Bear had teeny tiny paws and a teeny tiny squeaky little voice. The three bears started every day with a heaping bowl full of porridge. One morning, the three bears decided to go for a walk in the woods while their porridge cooled. As the bears were walking in the woods, a mischievous young girl named Goldilocks came upon their house. She peeked in the window and saw that nobody was at home. The front door was open, so Goldilocks walked right in. Goldilocks was very hungry. What was that wonderful smell? Oh my, three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks tasted the porridge from Papa Bear's great big bowl. It was too hot and she burned her mouth. Ouch! Next, she tasted the porridge from Mama Bear's medium-sized bowl. But it was too cold. Yuck, said Goldilocks to herself. Finally, she tasted the porridge from Baby Bear's teeny tiny bowl, and it was just right. In fact, it was so delicious, she ate it all up. Goldilocks was feeling full and wanted to curl up in a comfy chair. The first chair that Goldilocks saw was Papa Bear's great big wooden chair, and she climbed up onto it. But it was much too hard and not very comfortable at all. Mama Bear's medium-sized chair looked cozy, but it was much too soft and squishy, and Goldilocks had trouble getting out of it. Then Goldilocks saw Baby Bear's teeny tiny chair. That chair would be just right for me, she thought. Goldilocks was so happy sitting in Baby Bear's teeny tiny chair that she sat, and she sat, and she sat, until she sat the chair all to pieces. Goldilocks decided to explore the upstairs. At the top of the stairs, Goldilocks found a bedroom with three beds neatly lined up. Seeing the beds made Goldilocks feel very, very sleepy. Papa Bear's great big bed was the closest, so Goldilocks climbed onto it. But it was too hard and too high off the ground for little Goldilocks. She next tried Mama Bear's medium-sized bed, but it was too soft and the feathered pillows tickled her nose. Goldilocks hopped onto the teeny tiny bed and it felt just right. She pulled the covers up to her chin and immediately fell into a deep sleep. Meanwhile, the three bears were getting hungry, so they returned home. When Great Big Papa Bear went for a great big spoonful of his porridge, he found that his spoon was missing. In his great big voice, he growled, Somebody has been eating my porridge. Then Mama Bear noticed that her medium-sized bowl was not where she had left it. In her medium-sized voice, she said, And somebody has been eating my porridge. Teeny tiny baby bear scurried up to his little bowl. He squeaked in his teeny tiny voice. Somebody has been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up. The three bears went to the living room to see if anyone was there. 
When Papa Bear saw that the pillow had been knocked off his great big chair, he bellowed in his great big voice. Somebody has been sitting in my chair. Medium-sized Mama Bear saw that the fluffed up seat of her chair had been squashed. Mama Bear looked very cross. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, she declared in her medium-sized voice. Baby Bear scampered to his chair. In a squeaky, squealy little voice, Baby Bear said, Somebody has been sitting in my chair, and they sat it into tiny pieces. The Bear family quietly crept up the stairs. Papa Bear saw that the blanket on his great big bed was all rumpled and crumpled. In his great big voice, he boomed, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear saw that the big fluffy pillows on her bed had been squished flat. In her medium-sized voice, she grumbled, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Now Baby Bear's blanket was still smooth and his pillow was still in place. But, somebody has been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear in his loudest little voice, and she's still there. When Goldilocks heard Baby Bear's shrill little voice, she woke up and saw the three bears all looking down at her. Well, those bears gave Goldilocks such a fright that she leapt right out of bed. She ran down the stairs and out of the house as quickly as her legs could carry her. After that morning, the three bears never saw Goldilocks again. Each day they ate their porridge for breakfast and they lived happily ever after.